Hello everybody, welcome back to the Wisconsin Greg Show. <clears throat> uh, it's kind of nice and sunny today and I thought I'd get out and go for a walk through Delavan, so I thought I'd bring you with me. Um, the only problem is, is there's less than probably probably about 30, 30 to 40 minutes left before sundown, uh, but that's okay. Uh, I should be done pretty close to that time. If not, there's some lights in town. So anyways, I'm going to turn this camera around. I haven't been through Delavan for a little while and see what's going on. See what kind of characters we can run into. Let's get going. This is a antique store in Delavan, Wisconsin called Lorenz. If you're ever in Delavan and you like antiques, stop in there. They got lots of stuff. It's just packed. And uh, this is a restaurant. It's pretty good. I haven't been in it for some time. Uh, since COVID, they started closing early at 3, 3 p.m. And I'm more of a later person. So I don't get there much anymore. But they got really good food, or they always used to anyways. I haven't been there. <clears throat> See, the satellite stores are selling CBD products now. That seems to be kind of common. I've seen that quite a bit. I guess it's a little bit extra way for them to supplement their income. It's a bakery that always has uh, um, fresh apple cider donuts. I used to get them all the time, but since I started eating healthy, I haven't had a donut for, I think it's been a year, or coming up to close to a year now. It's about 43 degrees Fahrenheit today. I didn't really want to go walking around in the woods and stuff today because deer season is on right now. And uh, no need for me to bother the hunters and no need for me to put myself at risk out there. So figured I'd come to town and go for a walk. It's a new store I haven't been in yet. I think it's called Boxed and Burlap Coffee Shop. Yeah. It's really, really huge for a coffee shop. It used to be called... Uh, when I was a kid, it used to be Ben Franklin's, I think they call it. Like a dime store, they called it. I guess they have uh, painting classes, or I don't I guess you call it like a class. You can come in here, and they have certain nights you pay to come in here and paint stuff. I think they got a piano or something in there. Oh, maybe, I don't know if that's a piano or not. Maybe just a desk. But this is, I believe this is the area where they do the painting, usually. I haven't talked to anybody that's done that yet to see how it works or how, how it was. This, I've been in here once before. I was. Oh, he's going to make this guy a video. I never have yet. i got to do that someday. Super nice guy. It's a pet store. Lots of stuff in Delavan. For a little town. Right over there is, a, I'm not sure if you call it American Legion or VFW, I think it's American Legion building. They have weddings in there once in a while and special events and stuff like that. Take a walk down here. See the squirrels running around. Must be getting ready for winter. Looking for some extra food to store away. Oh! I think those two got other things on their mind. American Legion Post 95. My dad was a member of that years ago. 
my dad has passed away now, but when he was alive, he was a member of there. This is the Dullivan Police Department. And that's about as far as I'm going to go down this way. There's a funeral home over there. With the big white pillars in the front. Pretty nice day today it was. Didn't get too warm, only up to about 43 degrees Fahrenheit. But the wind wasn't real, real bad. It was pretty mellow. But it's blowing a little bit right now. You can see Old Glory up there blowing in the wind. I hear some music playing in the distance, so I gotta be careful with copyright. That's another thing that kind of makes me mad with YouTube. I don't know if any of you other uh, of you other people out there with channels have had any issues, but I've had issues. Well, they got music playing in the park down there, so I'm gonna stay out of there. But um, never got an actual copyright strike yet, but I've had it where they take my monetization away and they give give it to like the person of the music and it happened sometimes six six eight months later after I posted it when I posted it, it was fine but the user changes the copyright which I think is a bunch of baloney once if they have it copyright free at one time I think they should be copyright free forever because you can't like get everybody to use your music and then all of a sudden take their monitors their pay from that I just don't think that's right there's a lot of weird stuff going on but anyways, I don't know if you noticed when at the beginning of the video I did shave, I did do a short on YouTube, kind of a funny short showing the, my beard disappearing. Traffic is kind of busy, it's the day before Thanksgiving, everybody's out off work. A lot of people are off work. Some people are home cooking or getting stuff ready. Some people are making errands to the store, picking stuff up. It's a Mexican grocery store right downtown. Bought stuff there before. They got really good produce and stuff. There used to be a bank over there, right there. Can't remember the name of it. We'll walk by there and get the name, but uh, they rent it out for like parties and weddings and stuff like that now. Sometimes they shut the street down and they party right on the street. Must have permission from the town to do that once in a while or something. I'm not sure how that works. This was built in 1909. Now if you can see in there, pretty fancy tables and stuff. Not a whole lot of room. That's why they use the street I guess a lot. Thought it had their name out here but I don't see the name, I can't remember what the name is of the place right now. Huh. Beal Jewelry Stores, he's been here for ages. He does excellent work. I've had him do stuff on years ago, stuff for me. I haven't been in there recently. But he's really, really, he's a good jeweler. More than another knick-knack store, I guess you call it, or Second-hand store.
This is, used to be a restaurant, and I think I heard it's going to have sauna beds in it and stuff now. I'm not sure. But it's got a building permit out front, I see, so they're working on it. It's another jewelry store here, Utica. They've been here for years, too. And yoga. That's the post office right there. I can't uh, go down any further because I'm exercising my Second Amendment rights and I can't walk in front of the post office. That's the rules here. Yeah, I think that's the rules everywhere. Anyways, I'm going to walk back to the end of the street. I'm going to put you on pause for a minute so you're not seeing the same thing over again. And if we can get in the park without some music playing, I'll walk through the park a little bit. Be right back with you. Okay, the city still has music playing in the park. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through the park or anything. Anyway, I'm not going to... I'm going to mute the sound so I won't be able to talk to you. But I'll put my own music in this section. But at least I can walk through here and show you. So from now on, until I get back to you, there won't be no talking from me. Which maybe is a good thing. <laughs>
I think I can talk now. This is uh, where I used to work years ago. It's called Bonds Auto Repair right now. When I worked there, it was Zabel's Auto Service. This restaurant gets a lot of business. Jonathan's. I have never been in there myself yet. If you're coming through Delavan and you want a quick sandwich, this is a good deli. Really nice fresh food. I've been there before. But yeah, other than that, not a whole lot of people walking around. It's too cold. So anyways, just wanted to bring you for a little walk with me and uh, catch you on the next Wisconsin Greg Show. Take care, everyone. And uh, before I leave, have a, thank a very happy Thanksgiving tomorrow and hope you eat, get a lot of food to eat and uh, enjoy your day. And uh, come home after you eat and take a quick nap as I know what that turkey will do to you. Anyways. Take care now. Bye now.